Hey guys, so it's Monday morning, the 20th of February, and we're just doing some indie pack recon here. Uh, heading up the Dandies. Going from Melbourne, like in the CBD today, uh, all the way out on the route on the bike paths. And yeah, now we're heading up the hills. So 57k in. Piss and rain, cold, wet, slippery roads. But it's really pretty. And I guess, can't get too much worse anyway, maybe. The bike paths coming through the city. Quite a lot of traffic with people commuting and they're quite slow. So don't expect to average big speeds on them. There's not too many stops because there's bridges underneath roads and tunnels and all that, but you know not uncommon to average 20k an hour on that kind of stuff less with fresh legs so keep that in mind it's not raining anymore it's dry we ridden back from the Dandenongs, saw Sarah Hammond and rode back in with her, so that was really cool. Had a nice chat for a while. And yeah, now we're back in the Yarra and cruising into the city. Back on the same bike path. Okay, so we're just building up our um, dynamo wheel here. It's the matching rim to what's on my bike, about 24 spoke holes and a Sun Dulux um, Dino Hub. So I'll lace this up and we'll let you know how it laces up. Looks like a pretty basic hub and the rim is pretty basic as well. So let's see how we go. Okay. So you can see we're all done. Um, hub and rim are now one. Just gotta tension them up. Still a bit loose and all, but yeah, it looks like a wheel and um only took about 20 minutes so it's nice and easy once you've got the right pattern and it should be a good wheel we'll see how much it weighs so we'll get the fiberglass scales just turn them on turn that to zero not flat and that's in grams now it wasn't before it's in milliliters 
Let's see right off. Let's see. 1,025 grams. It's pretty good considering the hub and everything. That's a very, quite a strong wheel. 24 holes, so typical front wheel would be slightly less, but I'm pretty happy with that. We'll, uh, we'll see how she goes across the Nullarbor. They use those helicopters for the firefighting in the summer here. Lucky, I don't think we've had too many yet, or any that I know of. Nope. I so know. that's good, but it's also really good to have them there just in case. Okay, so we left Liam done about 46 Ks and we're on the way home. So nice little cruisy night. And we checked out the trains, checked out the planes, well helicopters. Good little cruisy fun night on the bike. And we'll head home now. And uh Make some tucker. I smell food in everyone's houses and it's gotta go make some food. Hope you enjoyed today. It's just a crazy ride, not a long one. Not like what we're gonna be expecting in the race, but you know, it's all about just having fun on the bike at the end of the day. So we'll cruise home now, get some sleep, and do it all again tomorrow.